A 75-year-old lady was referred by a fellow colleague for further management of her complex cataract. Biometric revealed an anophthalmic eye with extremely short axial length of 15.67 mm and a very shallow anterior chamber. Pre-op surgical planning is crucial as this small eye poses big challenges even to the experienced cataract surgeons. This includes the limited space for manoeuvring of instruments during the surgery due to the shallow AC. Iris prolapse is common and the associated high vitreous pressure can complicate the surgery at any point in time and one must be ready to address the issue if needed. The patient should be counselled accordingly regarding the potential complications. I used a 2.2 keratome and made a longer corneal tunnel at the main wound to minimise iris prolapse. And yes, I wished my keratome was not this blunt. For this patient, I decided to proceed without prior limited pus plantar retractomy since the shallow AC was manageable following the mannitol infusion. The angulation of the FECO probe and second instrument was mostly almost horizontal to avoid the posterior capsule and the corneal endothelium. The FECO power should be kept to the minimum to minimize endothelial cell loss. By calculation, she needed a plus 52 diopter, but I chose a plus 40 single piece IOL and the residual post-op hyperopia will be managed post-operatively. The optic of this high-powered IOL is thick and stiff, so the main wound was extended to facilitate IOL implantation. Part of her iris was inadvertently dragged along with the IOL optic during implantation. 
this was successfully released without much bleeding.